Well, it is a staple at Northern Michigan restaurants, but when it comes to whitefish, while it can be found on just about any menu, it's getting harder and harder for fishermen to find younger whitefish out in the wild. And that sparked an effort to hopefully see their reproducing population rebound. Right now we have a lot of whitefish. Uh, they're getting very old and they're not producing a lot of babies or any. So for the last 20 years, uh, there's been basically no reproduction to adulthood. As a hatchery manager with the Little Traverse Bay Band of Odawa Indians, Chris Day says the clock may be ticking on the fish that made Leland's fish town famous. We don't have a lot of evidence that they'll live any longer than 25 or 30 years, so we're kind of reaching a point where we're going to have to enter, you know, step in and do something about it. At a presentation to a concerned audience, Day brought the data that suggests there are a lot of whitefish out in our open waters. The problem is, for a host of reasons, they just aren't successfully producing the next generation of fish. And if they don't, they could disappear. Whitefish, even at smaller sizes, are the food of other fish. And so uh, you're having a whole ecosystem kind of collapse there. And so we're trying to prevent that. Preventing a whitefish collapse when it's not entirely certain why they aren't reproducing requires addressing a ton of possible solutions. We are currently involved with maybe 17 research projects trying to figure out what's wrong, whether it's UV light, uh, food problems, predation, disease issues. Uh, so we're looking at it in every way we can, and it's probably going to wind up being a culmination of all these things. A lot of possibilities, including one already underway in the UP, to try and get fish into new waters. Hopefully, it'll lead to a new generation. Stocking may be just a life raft, buying us more time to figure out what the problem is. And there's also solutions that we're looking into. One of the solutions is uh, maybe getting them to start running rivers again, back to the way that they used to. Raising young whitefish in rivers, hoping it's maybe one of the pieces of a very large puzzle, a puzzle they're hopeful they can solve before it's too late. Yeah, I like to think there is. Uh, there's evidence with other species and other places that this tactic works really well, so we're uh, optimistic that this has a lot of upside. Now, the river stocking program is already underway in a handful of rivers around northern Michigan. Experts say while preliminary reports look good, it may be a number of years before they really know if that's successful.